Now, in the first, institutional investors will be able to partake in the equity of large-scale renewable energy projects linked to climate infrastructure across various African markets. This via the Gaia Africa Climate Fund. MD of the fund, Reina DeVitt, joins us now with more detail. Reina, thank you for your time and a good afternoon to you. Good afternoon and thank you for having me. Let's talk about, uh, you know, why this is a groundbreaking development in climate funding, specifically as it pertains to the African continent. Yeah, you're absolutely correct. So what, what we have picked up over the last number of years is that um, the, climate the climate infrastructure development cycle, which is essentially the development of a renewable energy project at scale, and then the funding of that and the construction of that, that process is ongoing. But the problem is that those developers that invest in early stage don't have a, an exit for their project. So you, you, you successfully construct the project, but then you're not able to on sell it to a long term holder um, in many of these markets. In a, in a South African market, we have a, a, you know, a, a very vibrant secondary market. But in many of the, the markets across sub-Saharan Africa, that's non-existing. So what Gaia is doing through this fund is catalyzing the secondary market in many of the east, west, and southern African markets. And that will mean that over time, you'll have a, a, an increase in the number of new projects being developed as a result of this fund being established. Of course, there's quite a few stakeholders at play here, and I know the funds incorporated in Luxembourg. Let's talk about the stakeholders and how also they enhance uh, the, the, you know, the, the success of the initiative. Yeah, so we, we work with a number of partners in the process. So Guy is the portfolio manager. We do the fundraising and then we do the deployment of the capital and manage those assets thereafter for our investors. At, within Luxembourg, we have a local fund manager, uh, and an administrator that we work with, which is the Apex Group. And then nationally, we've got our, our legal advisors, our depository bank, uh, and a number of other institutions that we work with to make this uh, you know, fund a reality. And then don't, let's not forget our investors, which are spread throughout the world, and then our investee companies, the projects where we are invested. So let's talk about how it will work on a practical level. I think just for the benefit of our viewer here, uh, you know, for uh, those who wish to invest, but also, I guess, uh, for uh, even, I think, asset managers and pension fund holders who could also, uh, you know, add to the ecosystem. Yes. So very importantly that our focus area here is institutional investors. We're specifically targeting pension funds, uh, asset managers, life insurance companies, and, and, and sovereign wealth funds to invest in the fund. Those are, you know, spread throughout Europe, naturally, where, where, where a big target market is, the Americas and in other areas, and then very specifically our African markets. You know, our, from an African perspective, we want to invest in our own infrastructure, but at this stage, that's not possible for many of the pension funds across the region because the investment instruments such as the Guy Africa Climate Fund just don't exist. So it's, it's not possible for a pension fund to invest directly in a renewable energy plant like a, a wind farm. It's, it's just too difficult. So what Guy is doing is we bridge that gap. And, and through this fund you, where you can invest, you then get, as, a, as an institutional investor, a spread of uh, a basket of underlying uh, instruments throughout the region that you effectively invest in. It is a, a yield curve, so we're targeting um, regular dividends, and in such a way a pension fund has a, a more predictable, stable asset that they can invest in across the region with the diversification benefits and predictability around returns. You've also uh, read here that, of course, there'll be some listings of this uh, fund here at Cape Town in Nairobi and in Botswana. I'm keen to find out about that um, and what it does also to maybe the structure here and also maybe yeah, how it increases the ability for funds to be raised. You're 100% right. So what we do is we want to mobilize some capital from a number of African markets, specifically if we look at East Africa, the Kenyan market, and if we look at Southern Africa, the South African market naturally, and the Botswana market, and then there's some other areas which we're also exploring. So through those uh, listed uh, stock exchanges or those capital markets, we are providing institutional investors with the opportunity to invest in a feeder fund, which essentially will combine a number of these investors, and that will directly then invest in 
the Africa Climate Fund, which is Luxembourg-based. So in such a way, you can gain, gain access to uh, African infrastructure through the listed capital markets. An interesting one that we're hearing over here, I think, uh, just maybe to speak of how groundbreaking this is, is the term a yield co. Help us understand this one, Rena. So quite simply, if the comparison with a typical private equity vehicle, um, a private equity vehicle, you invest your capital up front, and then you tie it into that capital uh, for a number of years, let's say 10 years, and upon the, the end of the 10 years, the private equity company would sell the, the underlying assets and give you a return. During that time, you might expect some dividends uh, or receive some dividends, but it's not expected on a regular basis. What a yield code does is uh, it very simply invests in product and projects that deliver a regular uh, yield in the form of a dividend and that those dividends are then unpaid to our investors. We don't reinvest that capital into new projects. We essentially want to have a regular dividend stream for our investors. Very interesting indeed. I must then also ask you about the $50 million that's been raised. Uh, you know, I think this is a great success story. Just speak to us also about what investors were keen to find out about in the due diligence process and the appetite uh, from some of them uh, right now. Yeah, maybe just a correction. We're in the process of finalizing that okay. raise. It's not 100% completed, okay. but we, we're almost there. Uh, it's it's a, a combination of pension funds, uh, private investors uh, from Europe and Africa. And uh, what we're building up to is a $200 million fund. Uh, essentially, what, what our investors are looking for is diversification. They want to invest in, in, in impactful projects, so renewable energy projects throughout uh, re the, the region in, in sub-Saharan Africa, because at the end of the day, uh, you know, there's an opportunity to, to benefit from a first mover type of fund like this. You know, there is some nice opportunities available that give a decent return, but at the same time have a lasting impact uh, on the region. So it's a dual focus for our investors. All right, now we look forward to hearing more about uh, the developments here. Thank you so much uh, for speaking to us about Gaia today. That was Raina DeVitt, MD of the Gaia Africa Climate Fund.